Hello and welcome to my 7th Maya video tutorial. In this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about the IPR renderer. Now the IPR renderer is incredibly useful when you're um, using shaders because you can almost get real-time feedback on how your shaders will look on whatever object without hitting, hitting the render button. It's just a window that's open and you get real-time feedback from it basically. So let's get started. Let's create a plane. Let's scale this up. Move it slightly above the grid. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of the grid. Alright, so now let's go up to Window Render and Editors, Hyper Shade. Get a shader ready. Um, let's drag out a blend. Let's take out a fractal. I'm not going to apply these just yet to each other. So let's go IPR Render here. And let's drag a box over our, um, a red box actually, just left mouse drag in like this, over our uh, object. Okay. Now let's make sure our blend is applied to the object by dragging it out onto the 3D viewport on top of the object. Uh, then let's simply grab the fractal and minimize drag it onto the blend. It has a bump and boom. Look at that. It's not too impressive just yet, but if I go select my bump 2D1 node and I play around my bump slider, you see that in almost real time right there. That's impressive. Alright, so, um, what else can we do here? Um, I want to change some colors around here. So let's select our blend node here and go under color. And let's change this to, like, you know, any color. You can see it real time, just about, depending on how powerful your CPU is and your, uh, your video card. But you can see, And um, we'll actually go on almost real time. So I can even change these sliders here. Um, anything really. And there you go. That's pretty much how you use the IPR renderer. Um, let's see here. Let's go under special effects here under blend. And let's increase the glow intensity. And of course, it takes a little longer to show in the uh, IPR renderer, but. It's a whole lot nicer than just going up here every time to render it. It takes longer when you do that, too. But, um, there you go. That's how you pretty much use the IPR renderer. So, um, you know, whip open your hypershade, you know, play around with some shaders. Um, it's incredibly useful, and you'll become more experienced with shaders using the IPR renderer. Because, um, you can't beat real-time, uh, feedback on your shaders. So um, please go to my uh, YouTube page here and you know subscribe to my videos. Donate if you want to. Um, only have 60 subscribers now and 21 videos. If I keep going at this rate, I may have more videos and subscribers. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching.